Hi friends, uh, one of the students from Gadag has sent two problems on uh, SFD and BMD uh, for solution. I am solving those two problems now and making this video. Uh, the problem first one is draw draw SF and BM diagrams BM diagrams for the diagrams for the simply supported beam simply supported beam shown in figure shown in figure this is the problem here there is a simply supported beam simply supported beam the span of the beam is the span of the beam is 9 meters span is 9 meter and there are two point loads here one at 2 meter and the other one at 4 meters from the right span this is 4 kilo newton this is 6 kilo newton this is 2 meter and this is 4 meter then there is also a UDL UDL from the left support up to 3 meters and the UDL is 5 kilo newton per meter this is the problem we are supposed to draw the SF and BM diagrams. Now, first of all, what we have to do is we have to convert this UDL into a point load. So, leave some space here. Again, this same. This is. These are the supports. Our reactions now exactly in the center of this you have a point load you place a point load you convert this into a point load it will be 3 meters into 5 kilo newton per meter that will be 3 into 5 15 kilo newton meter kilo newton 15 kilo newton ah, this here you have we have a original these two are original point loads this is 6 kilo newton point load this is not a point load i have converted that uh, udl into a point load whereas these two are point loads now i will give these points names a b C, D and E. Now the first thing we have to do in a simply supported beam is to calculate the reactions. There are two reactions, one at A and one at E. R A and R E are the reactions. Now for finding out the reactions what we do is sum of upward forces upward forces is equal to sum of 
downward forces, this is one. One condition for the beam to be equilibrium, in equilibrium. We have to have the sum of upward forces must be equal to the sum of the downward forces. The upward forces are Ra and Re. So Ra plus Re is the sum of the upward forces and the sum of downward forces is 15 plus 6 plus 4 that is 25 kilo newton this is one relationship we got Ra plus Re is equal to 25 kilo newton next what we have to do is taking moments of all forces at A at the point A at the point A that is here why I am taking here if I take here the moment due to RA gets eliminated so moments of all forces at A sum of anti-clockwise moments anti-clockwise moments is equal to sum of clockwise moments clockwise moments in all simply supported beams this is how we find out the reactions the two reactions now you, I am taking the moment here at point A so this force that is this Re is producing a anti-clockwise moment these forces are producing clockwise moments these three are clockwise and that is only what that is anti-clockwise so Re into 9 Re into 9 that is the moment because this distance is 9 meters is equal to 4 into 7 4 into 7 4 kilo newton into this is 7 meters plus 6 kilo newton that is the force into this is 5 meters 6 into 5 plus 15 into 1.5 15 into 1.5 this distance is 1.5 this is totally 3 meters I, I am placing that in the center so 9 Re 9 Re will be equal to this is 28 this is 30 and this is 22.5 22.5 28 plus 22.5 is 50.5 80.5 9 Re is equal to 80.5 so Re will be equal to 80.5 by 9 it is slightly less than 9 kilo newtons right slightly less than 9 kilo newtons because 9 nines are 81 so how much it is let us see 80.5 divided by 9 will give me 8.94 8.94 kilo newton so this is Re is 8.94 kilo newton now I got one of the supports one of the reactions to get the other reaction what I have to do is I have this relationship Ra plus Re is equal to 25 kilo newton so Ra will be equal to 25 minus Re that is 25 minus 8.94 25 minus minus 8.94 so that will be Sixteen point zero six kilonewton. Sixteen point zero six kilonewton. 
this is RA. The RA will be 16.06 kilometer. That is 8.94 kilometers approximately. This is not the exact value because it is coming 8.944444 like that. It is never ending. So I have to limit it to 8.94. So that is, these are the two reactions. Next, after finding these reactions, the next thing that we have to do is, uh, we have to find out uh, the shear force and bending moments at various points, the salient points. Now, first SF, SF calculations, shear force calculations. So I have to find out SF at E, SF at E, SF at D, SF at C, SF at B, and finally SF at A. These are the five salient points. So I will have to find out the uh, SF at these points. SF at VE will be plus 8.94 kilo newton. It is plus because I am taking it as plus because it is an upward force. So I am taking upward forces as plus and downward forces as minus. So SF at D will be 8.94 minus 4 minus 4 so that will be plus 4.94 kilo newton then I move to C SF at C will be plus 4.94 that is this whatever is there I am carrying that minus 6 so that will be minus 1.06 I think 1.06 uh, 4.94 minus 6 will give me uh, minus 1.06 kilo newton then here minus 1.06 minus 15 SF at B minus 15 that will be minus 16.06 kilo newton here minus 16.06 plus 16.06 that will be 0 kilo newton so at this end at A I should get the shear force as 0 that's correct so these are the salient points. Now what I have to do is I have to produce these lines down. I have to produce them down. Leave some space here. Some space. Draw the zero line. Zero line. Uh, here it is 8.94. minus 4 so it becomes 1 point something uh, sorry 4 point something it becomes 4 point something here then flat here it becomes minus 1.06 somewhere here it will come up to this like this then it will fall 15 kilo newtons then it will come out like this this is how you get now this is a point this is a force straight force here it will be thick this will be thick this will be thick because that's a point flow here up to this it will be a horizontal line this is not a point flow this is a converted point flow so you will have to join these two points. So you will get like this. This is thick and this this should be this should be just visible. 
just visible just visible here yeah? so this is how the shear force diagram will be this is sfd shear force diagram next we have to do bending moment calculation bending moment calculations for that also there are five points bm at e bm at d bm at c bm at b and bm at a at a bm at e will be 8.94 into 0 the distance is 0 so that is 0 0 kilo newton meter bm at d will be 8.94 into 2 minus 4 into 0 minus 4 into 0 Bm at C will be 8.94 into 4 minus 4 into 2 minus 6 into 0 minus 6 into 0. Bm at B will be uh, 8.94 8.94. In two, this distance is from here to here. It is nine. Nine minus one point five. Nine minus one point five means it will be seven point five. Seven point five minus four in two. Here it has increased by three point five. So here also it should increase by three point five. So it will be five point five minus six in two. Two point five. Ah, uh, three point five, sir. Three point five minus fifteen into zero. Fifteen into zero. Bm at A will be eight point nine four into nine. It has increased by one point five. Four into seven minus six into ah uh, five. Minus fifteen into one point five. So that will be eight point nine four into two. Means it will be seventeen point eight eight. Or I'll take it as seventeen point nine kilonewton meter. Eight point nine four. Into four minus four into two. Four into two equals twenty-seven point six. Twenty-seven point ah uh, sorry, twenty-seven point seven six. He says we'll take it as eight kilo newton meter. Eight point nine four into seven point five. Minus four into five point five minus six into three point five equals that will be zero force. This will be twenty four point zero five, or you can take it as twenty four only. Here I should get this as zero. Eight point nine four. I won't get it zero. I'll get a small value because I have taken that as eight point nine four. Eight point nine four. Eight point nine four into nine minus twenty eight minus thirty. Minus twenty two point five. I am getting it as minus point zero four, but you should take it as zero only. It is zero. Why you are getting that small value is because 
uh, I have taken, I have not taken the full value, complete value, that is not practically possible. So, the, you cannot have zero here, it will be 0 0.04 kilonewton minus 0 0.04 kilonewton, but you write it as zero kilonewton. You make sure that it is very close to zero. It should be very close to zero. Now, you draw these, extend these lines like this and in these lines draw a horizontal line that is the zero line of the BMD here it is zero for a simply supported beam here also it will be zero right zero zero then mark these values here it is 17.9 this is 17.9 here it is 27.8, 27.8, and here it is 24, here, here it is 24, 24, and here it is 0, here it is 0. Now these two are point loads, so you will get straight lines like this, this is also a straight line. Then it will be like this, and here you draw a curve like this. So this is your BM dial, BM dial. So it will come like this. You observe here, where here the shear force is positive, right? Here it is positive. Here this whole thing, it is positive. Here it is, uh, this is, here after this point it is negative, where the shear force changes its sign like this, from positive it enters into negative or from negative it enters positive, where there that happens, that point is called as the point of contraflexure and the bending moment will be maximum at that particular point. You can see here, this is the maximum bending moment. At C it is maximum, it is at C that this is crossing that. So that is correct. That is also one of the ways in which we can verify whether what we have done is correct or not. Right. Now he has sent one more problem. I will do that also. One more problem is there. It is like this. Yes, some simply supported beam of length, eight meters. A simply supported beam of eight meters carries an UDL of ten kilonewton per meter over a length of. Uh, uh, 6 meter from the left support, starting from the left support. Now we were, I am doing the second problem, one more problem I have just given you. A simply supported beam of length 8 meters carries an UDL of 10, kilometer, 10 kilonewton per meter for a di uh, distance of 6 meters from left support. Draw SF and BM diagrams for the above beam. Also calculate the bend, maximum bending moment on the section. So the here the catch is what is this back maximum bending moment? I will tell you very quickly what we have to do. So draw a sketch. The sketch is not given. So you have to draw it. This is the beam. The span is it is a simply supported beam. The span is eight meters. Eight meters. There is only one load, a UDL of six, uh, 10 kilonewton per meter for 6 meters from the left support. This is the left support up to 6 meters. Up to 6 meters, let us say this is 2 meters. This is 2, this is 2, 6 meters here. Okay. This is the UDL. UDL, this is 6 meter. 
from here to here, it is 6 meter. There is no other load. There is no other load. Yet, the value of this UDL is, it is 10 kilo Newton per meter. 10 kilo Newton per meter is the load. Right. So, the total load here works out to 60 kilo Newton. So, what we have to do is, we have to do it like this. Now, this is one support, this is the right support. So, up to here there is UDL. Take the midpoint of this, midpoint of that. That is 3 meters this side, 3 meters that side. And the point load, converted point load is 60 kilo newton. Now, I will we'll, call this as A, this as B and this as C. Uh, what is the reaction at A? I have to find out. What is the reaction at C? I have to find out. RA and RC I have to find out first. So by equating the upward and downward forces, RA plus RC is equal to, I get just one is there, one load is there. So it is 60 kilo newton. No other load is there. It's very simple. Then, then taking moments at A, uh, the anti-clockwise moment is RC into 8 is equal to 60 into 3 60 into 3 that is 60 into 3 this is the clockwise moment that is the anti-clockwise moment so 8 RC is equal to 180 so RC is equal to 180 by 8 8 to the 16 8 to the 16 2 will remain 8 uh, uh, 8 to the 16 again I think 4 will remain 22.5 kN I think RC is 22.5 kN I think Okay, 180 by 8, 180 divided by 8 is 22.5 kN. So RA will be 60 minus 22.5, that will be 37.5 I think, 60 minus 22.5. I think that is 37.5, 37.5 kN. So I got both of them, this is 22.5, this is 37.5, I got the two reactions. Now the problem is very simple, SF at uh, C, SF at C will be plus 22.5. Kilo Newton. SF at B will be uh, plus 22.5 minus 60 that is minus 37.5 kilo Newton. SF at C, uh, sorry, SF at A will be minus 37.5 plus 37.5 that is 0 kilo Newton. So that's all. Now here, you see, if you draw this, if we draw this, this is the zero line. Here it is 22.5. Then here it will go minus 37.5. Uh, minus 37.5. And here it will go. Now, if this is a, really a point load, it is. This is how it is going to come. But it is not really a point load. It is a UDL starting from here and ending here. So this point is to be joined to this point. This point is to be joined to this point. Now, it is crossing this 
zero line at some point here. Now where exactly it is crossing, I have to find out. Now here, you see what we have to do is, what we have to do is, I will call this point, this point as x, x. Now at this point, at this point, it is 22.5, shear force up to here. From this point to this point, it is 22.5 only. It is up to here also, it is 22.5. In one meter length, in one meter length from here, it will reduce by 10 kilonewton. In another, that is 10 kilonewton means it will become 12.5 kilonewton. In another one meter, it will get reduced by 10 kilonewton. That is, it gradually falls by every meter 10 kilonewtons. Now, where it will be zero here? Where it will come zero? That is, how much has to come? 22.5 must become zero uh, divided by 10. This is 10. 10 kilonewton per meter. So, it will be 2.25 meter from here. From where? This point will be at a distance of 2.25 meter. 2.25 meter from here. Or this distance will be how much? 6 minus 2.25. 6 minus 2.25. That will be equal to 3.75 meters. From here to here it will be 3.75 meters. Now this is the point of contraflexion. So, bending moment will be maximum at that particular point. Now, to find out that, what we have to do is, to find out bending moment at Bm at x, Bm at x will be equal to, at this point will be equal to, this is how much? This is totally 8 means this is 2. So, this distance from here to here is 4.25. Now it will be uh, 22.5 into, into 4.25, 4.25, only one force is here, only that force will be there. So one point, uh, at that particular point it will be, uh, uh, no, then this distance is 2.25, no somewhere here, 2.25 in the middle, 2.25 into 10, that will be 22.5, 22.5 minus, minus 22.5 into half of 2.25, 2.25 divided by 2, that is the midpoint of this. This is anti-clockwise and this will be clockwise. This is anti-clockwise, this will be anti-clockwise. So it will be negative. So if you do it, it will be 70.3125. 70 point, 70 point kilo Newton meter. This is the maximum bending moment. Maximum bending moment on the beam. Bending moment on the beam is beam is at x where the shear force is changing its sign at this point and it is equal to and it is equal to 70.3125 kilo newton meter this is how you have to give it okay we will stop there i think you have understood this I will stop there. You can go through it.